can't draw a straight line between passages like this and any specific form of reparations today. That conversation requires a whole host of moral, legal, economic, and practical considerations that honestly are above my pay grade. Next, McLean Bible Church. What has transpired with McLean Bible Church? As you are aware, if you're not aware, David Platt was a senior pastor for McLean Bible Church, but he decided to step down in honor of the DEI, okay, to give power to uh, a black leadership. So there is a gentleman by name of Mike who is now the senior pastor of McLean Bible Church. So he was preaching and he decided to uh, tackle on reparations 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 so we're going to listen to what he said okay in defense of reparations so reparations are back so this is uh Mark Casey who took over from uh, David Platt as the senior pastor of McLean Bible Church so brace yourself okay get ready okay we need some reparations okay I need my reparations <laughs> all right guys uh let's listen now, this raises a question about how we're supposed to apply this today. So I know what some of y'all are thinking, like especially in light of the modern debates here in our country about reparations for slavery. And thankfully, I'm out of time. <laughs> I, I am. But let me just say this. Let me say this. Certainly, the principle of restitution is here in Scripture. That justice requires not just stopping injustice, but repairing or rectifying that injustice in appropriate ways. This is why in the New Testament, when the tax franchise owner Zacchaeus becomes a follower of Jesus, he commits to actually repaying everyone he defrauded fourfold. At the same time, though, you can't draw a straight line between passages like this and any specific form of reparations today. That conversation requires a whole host of moral, legal, economic, and practical considerations that honestly are above my pay grade. It's a worthy conversation. You just can't jump immediately from scripture to this is what that should look like today. But I hope it's clear as we've studied this passage and as we study the broader teaching of Scripture that God calls us to make personal sacrifices for the sake of justice. Not to just agree with the idea, but at some point, if we're going to follow Jesus, if we're going to obey the whole counsel of God and become a people who reflect God's just character, it's going to require something of us. It's going to require that we give some things up. It's going to require that we make some sacrifices in order to get involved and to reflect the character and kingdom of God in caring for the vulnerable, the poor, the oppressed. In some ways, I want that to challenge us. I want the weight of that, the weight of this passage to sit on our hearts as the authoritative word of God and to allow all of us to just allow and be open to how this Holy Spirit might be wanting to grow us and shape us and lead us. I want this to challenge us. Yes, he wants uh, the story of Zacchaeus to challenge us. Why? So you should feel guilty and start what? And start paying. Okay. By the way, you know, this only applies to white people. Okay. So that they can play, uh, pay black people. You cannot use the story uh, of Zacchaeus to, to, to back up reparations. It just doesn't work. It wouldn't work. Okay. Number one, that is not justice. Okay. God is a God of justice. God hates an even skills and even skills are an abomination to God. You shall not favor the rich over the poor. You shall not feather the poor over the rich. Okay. Just that's why justice is blind. It doesn't matter if the rich person is correct. It goes to him. It goes to him and vice versa. Zacchaeus. Okay. Zacchaeus did defraud people. So he stole from people. Okay. According to the law, Leviticus law, he, he was supposed to return double fold. But Zacchaeus returned fourfold. He gave back to the people that he defrauded. That's what happened. So right now, if you say reparations, okay? So the question to ask is, 
who is going to be giving these reparations and who is going to who is going to be receiving the reparations if you're giving somebody reparations based upon skin color you have already shown partiality that is not of the lord that is not of god so if somebody has wronged somebody you you are required to pay restitution and reparations in that way absolutely that is biblical but if it's just a matter of giving things to people because they are black and then you're taking things to people because they are white that is not justice at all so find the people who did the wrong things and find the people who were wronged and let those people receive things accordingly that is justice not just whatever else people uh, they have to make so yes uh my cousin is all for reparations okay and he's you know he was so mad you know uh he had made a comment there's a video that i did a while uh, you know lo long time ago like oh he's so angry about why people you know this whole social justice thing that has entered uh the church so no 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 this is what it looks like when people have bought into these social justice things and they want to go to the scriptures and it says it's above your pay grade how is it going to be above your pay grade you are a pastor you are supposed to expose it the word you're supposed to preach the word so whatever else is happening you you need to get the principles from the scripture because god has spoken so if you're going to dispense justice that is against the word of god that is not justice you have perverted justice and that is sinful all right guys but what say you okay do you you know should we get these reparations reparations <laughs> you know the law of god has already made um distinctions you see what i'm saying you know this person is a fugitive this person is a murder this person is a thief all those things are there we just have to apply it the law of god is good the law of God is good, but this is what happens when people want to do their own things. Eh? It's paid to the one whom's wrong. Exactly. Susie Q is speaking right here. Good point. That's exactly what I was saying. 100%. You're correct. You're correct.